Like most of things in life, it's a rare occurrence to have things right on the first try. And since watches we talk about are largely made by hand, the same concept applies to them from aesthetics to fit and finish, especially when it's a mechanical watch. Watchmaking is one of the best examples when a product is purchased not just because of its looks but also brand history, dedication, function, precision and experience. And then when we start to talk about history, it's not just about the brand being in existence for decades or maybe centuries, it's also about brand's commitment and success in executing and perfecting the watch for all that time giving you the confidence and peace of mind that what you're going to get is not just another watch to strap on the wrist. It's a masterpiece of watchmaking with centuries long experience and skill to produce the product that we take pleasure in. Another component that comes into play when talking about perfecting the product is attention to detail. That is, although the product was already existent decades ago, yet the manufacturer has continued to go up and beyond in delivering the tiniest of details that although human eye can't even appreciate without the use of loop, they do add to the experience. 1993 marked the birth of Omega C Master professional 300 meters diver watch, which was not only a success already, but became an icon in a very short time frame. 25 years down the line, and we saw a completely new reference to celebrate the anniversary offering a combination of new elements, material and design cues, yet retaining and even offering return of some original design elements. The first thing you notice in the dial is the wave pattern and although these waves were not available in the last generation, they were one of the iconic design characters of the watch back in 1993. This time, we have more prominent waves that are also spread wide apart and in the flesh, they are three-dimensional in nature. The waves in the new Speedmaster are laser engraved and not only they add a more statement look to the watch but also the experience of depth that can be spotted from one meter away. The watch for the retains skeletonized hands in the dial and also helium escape valve at 10 o'clock to maintain its original looks. In the dial, we basically have three colors, white, gray and blue, and I absolutely love this color combination. We have here gray dial, and then on top of it, we have blue text, glossy blue dial hands, blue boundaries for our markers, and then also the minute graduation on the dial are blue as well. The luminous infill in the hour markers is interesting one, and where we typically see soft and foamy lume material in white, we have here glossy luminous infill. And not just it does do the job of looming the dial, the shiny surface adds a new and unique experience in itself. The hour markers then further have a depth in them as they sit up tall which complement just very well with the three-dimensional wave experience. The dial comes with matching date window and although I typically like matching dates but here the date is harder to read partially because it's sitting far too deep inside the dial and then the color contrast is also not good enough. In terms of aesthetics, the date in this example is not centered and it is disappointing to see this in otherwise a near perfect dial. The bezel is fully ceramic and has a glossy finish in blue which adds a nice contrast to the gray dial. And while the loom is limited to pip at 12 o'clock, the bezel is fully graduated all the way through. The bezel doesn't come with typical coinage Rather, it has edges along its periphery. To me personally, this bezel is harder to rotate than the ones that come with coinage. So although I also don't quite like the design of bezel itself, when it comes to function, it's not comfortable and I do find it a little hard to rotate, especially if your hands are wet. You simply don't want that in A, a tool watch and B, in a diver's watch. The new 42mm case comes with 12.5mm thickness, which is relatively thin case for our diver's watch. The case comes with decent level of finish and intermittent polishing and brushing. We have case sides that are polished and although the top surfaces of the lugs are brushed too, there's a white polished beveling which makes the lugs look polished. The rubber strap fits beautifully inside the lugs and there's no air gap or clearance between the strap and the lugs 
and I personally like the fit. The polished crown is screwed in and comes with embossed Omega logo. Under the macro, the watch truly outshines watches even two times its retail. And yes, this includes Rolex Submariner. The finish on our marker is spectacular and there is simply no flaw to be seen. The minute hand makes no difference and not only the paint quality is superior, there is no surface flaw and not even dust on site. The finish on our markers matches with hands and attention to detail is on display. I typically see issues at the joint for seconds hand, but here I am truly impressed. This is quite possibly the most perfectly painted, finished and assembled seconds hand in under $5000 watch I have seen and shown on my channel. The printing of the text is crisp and maintains overall balance of quality. The dial itself maintains the standard of quality and you can see the consistency of brushed lines here. Truly impressive. When you take the watch in the dark, being a true driver watch, you expect stunning lume and it does not disappoint in the first look. The lume is bright, consistent and simply beautiful. And this lume shot is one of the reasons why you would rather want to have a date on the dial at 6 o'clock as opposed to having at 3 o'clock and you can see how symmetrical and balanced the lume is. The bezel pip is lume too and I also like how Omega have changed the color of minute hand to make it prominent for time reading. And while I like the contrast, unfortunately only after 5 minutes the minute hand lost the lume brightness far more than the hour hand and markers. I allowed another 7 minutes to see lume performance and the minute hand unfortunately almost disappeared. This is the third and probably the most significant disappointing element because when you put it this way, can you actually go diving with a diver watch that won't show you the minute reading only after few minutes due to lume losing brightness. A situation where every second is critical and you don't have minutes to read. Turning the watch upside down, we have on display fully in-house Omega Caliber 8800 which is self-winding automatic movement with coaxial escapement, master chronometer certification and a movement that is practically resistant to magnetic fields. The caliber operates at 4Hz or 25,200 vibrations per hour, comprises of 35 jewels to offer 55 hours of power reserve. The movement comes with decent level of finish, coats the Geneva stripes on the bridges and then there are bevel edges on display. The plates don't have circular graining but let's be real, you can't expect everything at this price point. On the wrist, the 42mm Seamaster has a fair bit of wrist presence due to its taller lug to lug of 50mm. The case isn't thick enough to make it look bulky and as such there is no feeling that it is top heavy or unbalanced. My wrist size is 6.5 inches and wrist span is 55mm and the watch despite being slightly larger size stays in the center of my wrist. This 42mm Seamaster with rubber strap does not flare out of my wrist and there is no sense that it is hanging or cantilevering over my wrist. The lugs taper down towards the wrist, they stay relatively flat on the inner side and resultingly you can see some gap between the lugs and my wrist which is of course not ideal for smaller wrists like mine. The rubber strap however is soft and contours to the wrist beautifully. The rubber quality of the strap also looks fine and is on par with what you would expect from Omega. The strap comes with tank buckle that has brushed finish and polished bevels and features Omega logo embossed on it. Omega C Master 300m Diver Watch offers you the package where you get the right balance of all the sporty attributes you would need for your daily beater and then the design elements that enhance your wrist experience and joy of ownership. Not only it comes with exhibition case pack and a nicely decorated movement on display. The color combination and even the details under the macro easily show that Omega have put the due effort in stepping up the standards of this watch. It isn't a flawless watch and the loom performance was overall quite disappointing. The date is not only hard to read but it's also not centered and then the bezel itself isn't the best one to turn. But at the price it comes in I really believe that it's not what it doesn't offer that matters the most. It's rather everything that it does offer, especially when some watches two times its price don't. Yes, I'm looking at you Rolex.